Tonight, the Charles River Museum of Industry and Innovation presents the Second Shift Music Series, featuring Alyssa Farrick. Sponsored by Kathy and Dan Tappan. One third of your donations will go to Dinaid Waltham. Honored to return for a fourth year as curator of the Second Shift Music Series at the Charles River Museum. The stories we tell each other around the proverbial campfire make up one of our oldest human traditions. So when an artist performs a song that gives voice to an emotion or an experience that we too have shared, we feel seen. And when we are witnessed in such a way, we feel less alone. This makes live music uniquely suited to provide us with a sense of secular communion pull us all together at a time when we truly need it the most. I'd like to thank all of the artists who signed on to perform during our spring 2021 season. I'm a fan of all of them, and I'm sure after you tune in each week, you will be too. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, thanks for uh, signing on and being here on time. Thank you so much, it's so good to be here. I wanna thank everybody who's working this show. It is absolutely an incredible feeling to be in a room with other people um, playing music. So I'm already um, happy, so there's that. I, listen, I pulled out a whole bunch of songs that maybe you've heard me play before and a couple that maybe you haven't. So uh, I thought I'd just get started here in the beautiful Charles River Museum with an old song of mine from a record called Everything I Need, and uh, this is Everything I Need. Well, I got money in the bank And I got a car to drive And I got a work instead of hand my guitar seems to lie Cause I got love that won't quit And I've got time to rest Oh, and I got a clear, able mind That sees my life going fine Yeah, cause everything I need Is right here in my hands Right here in my hands Right here in my hands Everything I need Is right here in my hands Right here in my hands hey. Yeah, I got a floor to dance on Oh, and I got a phone to laugh in And I got a tub to cry in And I got a bed at home I like to hide in Cause sometimes I only see what's wrong And sometimes I'm convinced my God has up and gone. I'll never write a hit song. My love will leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Yeah. Don't leave me hanging, baby. Cause everything I need is right here in my hands. Right here in my hands. Right here in my. Everything I need is right here in my hands. Right here in my hands. Right here in my hands. Actually, very classic Melissa Ferrick, what's just happened, which is that I have broken a string. So I'm not sure if there's that guitar that was sitting here when we had sound check that I could maybe play and then maybe somebody could change a string for me or I could just play that other guitar. I'm not really sure, but I am happy to be here at the Charles River Museum. And some of the money you 
contribute here will go to the Charles River Museum and to this other cool thing that they have created for the town of Waltham. That's where we are. We are in Waltham. We are in Waltham. And we're raising money for the restaurant business that's been absolutely devastated by COVID. So this is called, <laughs> you got it? Cool. We got this Dine Aid, Dine Aid, Dine Aid for Waltham. Yeah. All right, everybody. I think for a live stream, this is actually like one of the most interesting things that could happen. So what I'm gonna do is just switch out guitars. Does somebody wanna come help me? I'm not quite sure if I should unplug this. Sweet. These are our amazing sound people. <laughs> there are um, strings in my case if somebody wants to give me a new A string on there. That's what you guys wanna do. I'm also happy to play this. That's okay. Yeah. It's a good thing I, I actually went back in my apartment and brought got strings because I was like, I wonder if I'm going to break a string tonight. It's totally psychic when that happens. If you think you're going to break a string, you break a string. I once saw Robin Hitchcock play a show in New York City at this place called The Bottom Line, which was a very, very famous club in New York. It doesn't exist anymore. But he said, um, the, best sound, the, the best sound in the world is the sound of a guitar being tuned down, and the worst sound in the world is the sound of a guitar being tuned up. <laughs> so I was, hey, I relate. All right, cool. This is a song called um, Relief, which is on uh, a record called Melissa Farrick. It's just a self-titled, I self-titled my 17th record, which was hilarious, but this record came out in 2015. Um, and I just went right back to basics and um, recorded it myself. And it's just like mostly acoustic, although there's a lot of subtle production on that record. So I should give myself credit for that. And I had asked my songwriting students to write a song about a truth that they were, you know, a little nervous about other people knowing about. Then they asked me if I had written a song that week, and I was like, no, I haven't. So I wrote this one. You keep on coming back. You keep on keeping score You keep on asking me If I think that we're worth Fighting for But I never really came All the way in I never sat down Because you wouldn't stop Asking me why Do I always break things? It's not that I wasn't willing It's not that I couldn't feel Maybe I shouldn't have come around for so long Maybe I just should have bailed But 
But I was trying for the first time, trying to give it time. And all of my friends kept saying, you've got to let someone in to really learn why do I always break things? First there was the Northridge earthquake And then there was a drive-by hate crime Then there were the hands of that guilty man Thoughts inside of my head I could not stop and I could not stand So that's why, that's why It's kind of hard for me to trust sometimes That's why, that's why, that's why, that's why, that's why so I got a book about forgiveness And it promises to set me free So I'm gonna take every single suggestion Set off flares signaling I need relief Because I gotta find some strength I wanna find some strength I'm gonna find some strength In something other, something other, other than me I got the hands of my grandmother and I got the words of Mary Oliver and they bring me relief a little relief they bring me relief this guitar <laughs> it's cool it's a Yamaha for God's sake it's incredible all right yeah that's called relief I love to play that song now I'm gonna play a, a, I'm gonna finger pick this next song which you know like I'm just a self-taught guitar player so I don't really know what I'm doing um, well, I mean, I do know what I'm doing, but it's just, you know, whatever. So when I, well, I had to kind of learn how to finger pick, and I, and I know you're supposed to, well, you're supposed to. Most people who are like really like great finger pickers, they use like all their finger. They use at least these four. Sometimes they use their pinky. But somehow I've gotten away with it with two and sometimes three. So I really shouldn't be talking about this because now that I'm thinking about it, I might screw it up, because thinking is actually a terrible idea for um, people who are in the process of doing their art or whatever their expression is. Did you change my string? Are you cutting the little thing off? All right, I'll do this song on this. Does this guitar sound good, though? Not as good as mine, probably. Mm -hmm. So this is a song called um, Sideways which I hadn't played in a long time, and I just learned it the other day, and uh, I, I relearned it the other day. I actually played it from my advanced songwriting class, because I was telling them about, uh, uh, you know, grabbing chord changes from other songs and um, allowing them to inspire you to write from them. I am five states away Calling to tell you I do not feel connected To the moon or the stars Or my soul or my heart Oh, I feel like a body in perpetual motion I am waiting for an answer Listening for hope just trying to get out of my thoughts that seem to just outthink themselves. I swear I'm staying away from pharmacy shelves. 
But when I get the non-stop thinking about everything that's wrong, you are there. You remind me to try to find peace in it all. But all I want to do is come home, come home, come home, and lay down with you sideways. Putting me back inside my body Turn my face with your hands Come on and show me what you got And I will tell you again About the first time I saw you And how you turned my heart back on So when I get the non-stop Thinking about everything that's wrong You are there You remind me to try to find little peace in it all and I want to come home come home come home lay down with you sideways and I don't know why I don't think I know what I'm doing I gotta call you ask you to talk me down why I doubt the very fact that you love me I'm out here trying to sing it out. I'm just trying to sing it out. Trying to sing it out. So when I get the non-stop thinking about everything that's wrong, you are there. You remind me to try to find peace in it all and then I'm gonna come home come home come home and lay down with you sideways I'm gonna lay down with you sideways switch it out nice no I, I, I like all guitars actually so. oh this one didn't even have that I don't know how to do this fancy uh, oh great I hope everybody liked my um, my uh, Charles River uh, Museum song. My, I could like make a jingle for you guys now. Charles River Museum. <laughs> Thank you so much. Did you stretch it out and everything? Kinda, yeah. Excellent, sounds great. Thanks, Eddie. I think I'm going to play a upbeat song. Upbeat song. I guess if that's what you call this I don't know
was dinner time in this tiny seaside town. Dogs were barking, kids were laughing. I was counting the days left till fall. The sun was setting heavy, the moon traced paper thin. And I was getting ready to go out and get my fill. Of oysters so small, sweet and cold. A dozen oysters to help me taste the beauty in getting old. Because the smaller the thing, the bigger it feels The less these days I gotta worry about Cause you got the kind of smile that holds me down The simpler the words, the more they mean And the less I try to fix you, the more I can fix me Yeah, you got the kind of smile that holds me down Hey, you seen the whole town was out that night With their sun-tanned hands and their sandy jeans And while the local band started digging in the volume of happiness completely shut down Every cell phone and every TV Everybody's pretense of it's all about me And so we grabbed our drinks, grabbed our chairs Headed towards the exit and walked outside We went into the streets, people poured out of cars And all at once it seemed We were all looking up to witness A display that was being put on by the mystic of stars that night Never had darkness looked so bright Never had silence sounded so right And then this lady next to me just off the cuff said you know stars outnumber hearts And everything inside of me just took a breath and stopped Stars outnumber our hearts yeah because the smaller the thing the bigger it feels the less these days i gotta worry about you got the kind of smile that holds me down the simpler the words the more they mean the less i try to fix you the more i can fix me you got the kind of smile that holds me down you know it's true your smile holds me down so the lights came back on I closed out my check and started back home with a knowingness that my capacity to have a little bit of fun had grown with this moment, a memory that I would always hold. This perfect night in August when I got good at getting old. going to play a, a new song called So Far Gone, which kind of sounds like a, a, a kind of dinner you would order. I'll have the So Far Gone with uh, basmati rice on the side. And, uh, you know, a sweet tea. That's what I would like. And so just to kind of remind everybody here that we're here at the Charles River Museum and it's gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I wanna thank Mark Arelli for um, asking me to come play. Thank you, Mark, you're an incredible human being. And I wanna thank everybody for working here, and Parsons Audio has a lot to do with this too, which is awesome. And so um, a portion of the money that you're contributing tonight goes to help the Charles River Museum stay alive and um, be able to you know, contribute back to the community and also for, um, for Dine Aid, like, like Live Aid, but Dine Aid, that's their spin on it. So it's gonna help all the um, restaurants here in Waltham, because they've just um, really taken a, take, it's been hard here for them, so I'm trying to help out. And it gives me an opportunity to play in front of one, two, three, four, five people, which is incredible, so. Um, thanks for sitting here and watching me play, you guys. Um, let's say. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is called So Far Gone. I am writing new stuff right now, so don't get too excited, but, you know. And then uh, another really actually exciting thing, uh, but I can't, I don't want to tell you yet. But uh, anyway, maybe I'll start dropping hints on the socials. That's how the kids say it. Where did you go? Words I used to have Are you so far gone? You can't get back Always at the tip of my tongue Your truth used to tell me How to get free But I was so far gone the sitar that will be in there. <laughs> it's great. Thank you for clapping virtually. And inside your heart in the room, I can feel it. It's good. All right, cool. Now I'm going to go back now, back in time, to a song called John's Field. And actually, this song I wrote I lived up in Newburyport for a long time. I uh, grew up in Ipswich. Which is in Massachusetts. You see, because now we're not here, and so I've learned this, actually I've learned this from writing, is that when you say something like that, most people are like, I, I don't even know what you're talking, like that has no revel relevance to me. So when I say Ipswich, what I mean is it's this tiny little town on the ocean about 45 minutes northeast of Boston, Massachusetts. So um, tiny little, tiny little town. There's a beautiful beach there called Crane Beach. Um, but anyway, so that's where I grew up. And then um, just north of there is, an, is a town called Newburyport where my grandparents lived. And um, there was a art 
an art store in New Report, downtown New Report, which I'm going to forget the name of right now. But my friend Janice worked there, Janice Eaton, and um, she's a painter. Janice Eaton Updike, actually. And she um, worked at this store, and there was this painting there in the window, and it was of a barn. It was beautiful. It was just like grass and a blue sky and a white barn with like perfect windows. Everything was this, and I'm a Virgo, so everything was lined up, and it was just, it made me feel really safe. So I wanted to buy it, and I went and I was like going to buy the painting, and it was like $6,800. So I was like, are you joking me? So I went and I bought paint at a because <laughs> I thought that I could paint it which is hilarious um, and that's when I realized that there was a reason why it was $6,800 because painting is very very hard but what ended up happening was I never bought the painting but I got a song out of it because I dreamt about it and so um, this is the song this is called John's Field hang on it's kind of it's kind of cold here so I just have to warm up my hand getting my chi going There's a person who would always come to my shows in um, Atlanta. At, no, Asheville, North Carolina, at the Gray Eagle. I don't remember her name. She would come with her husband, and they would, she would always ask me to play this song for a very particular reason. And I always think of her whenever I play this now. It's funny how a song can mean something. Well, it's not funny. It means something to me, but something completely different for everybody else. That's the beauty of it. Time seems slow when I'm sitting around at home at dawn because I haven't gone to bed yet. That's wrong. Let's start again. Time seems slow when I'm sitting around at home just waiting, there you go, waiting for my winter lift. So I feel my way around this half lit house at dawn because I haven't gone to bed yet. Just a metronome With or without me It'll all go on With or without you This will all go on And without you, my love I'll move on I'll move on
Thanks for liking that one. I hope everybody's doing good online. I, I, I'm just going to keep playing here because I have the other songs written down. So. I'm going to throw it back in time again because I, I retaught myself how to play this song called Then So It Is, which I used to play all the time live back in the day when I used to play with uh, my drummer Brian and everything was just loud and fast all the time. <laughs> And, uh, but I've relearned this song, and um, I've changed the melody a little bit, and I uh, really like it. I like, uh, I like it a lot. I think uh, I need to be on the fourth fret here. Huh. Better here. that a lot I think like the whole idea too is like when I go to record that that whole little riff thing will become a whole instrumental section at the end of a song so it's kind of hard to convey that acoustically but hopefully you get the idea I do North Carolina now song I wrote, uh, I guess this is on a record that came out in 1999. This is a song called North Carolina, and um, I, w I, I wrote it when I was in North Carolina. Shocking. Uh, but it was when that Patty Griffin record came out, uh, Flaming Red. Do you remember that? That record's incredible. Uh, if you've never heard that record, you should listen to it. And you should listen to the whole record from beginning to end with headphones on loudly. Um, but anyway, that record just blew me away, and I had it. I remember this was when I used to tour with like an like a um, like an old school boombox. I don't know if you guys <laughs> that had like a CD player in it. I think it was a boombox or some something that you brought into the hotel room to listen to CDs. And uh, 
Anyway, I was in the hotel. It was a Holiday Inn, one of those round ones where you get off in the elevator. It doesn't matter which way you go, right or left, because it always comes around. And um, and uh, and it was right on the like right there on the 40. And um, I was really anxious, and I was supposed to play at this club. I think it was called the Local 501 or something. And um, so I was listening to Patty's record, and I had the TV on mute, and I had my guitar out, and I was scared. So, and, and um, I had to go play the show. I was by myself, and I've been driving for a long, long time by myself, too, which can cause you to, like, shake, and it's like you buzz inside. And um, anyway, but I got this song out of it, and I've um, been playing it for, I've been playing it ever since. I know why I wanted to finish that story was because I had also read this book called um, uh, it's by Anne Lamont. It's, called, it's like Bird by Bird. That's what it's called. So, and it's about writing through um, writer's block. And one of the um, one of the ad pieces of advice that Anne Lamont gives is to write exactly what's in front of you. So that's what I did. I'm glad I remembered that. I wanted to tell you that. I'm a mile and a half off the tracks. Raleigh, North Carolina, foot all jammed up, driving 14 hours, and my body can't sit upright, hanging around watching the TV on mute, listening to all of my money-making peers, and it's hard not to go to that place in my head, it's gonna stop me from ever leaving this room, but it's all so confusing, cause I am all worked up, and all of my thoughts are tangled into one. I'm just a panicked, I am a line of white noise. Drown out the voices, drown out the noise, drown out the bitterness. I got stored and drown out my wanting, take away my fears, everything I've been working for. I don't want to disappear, I don't want to disappear. Ever since I left you, I got nobody to call. I got nothing to do but sit around thinking about how I could have not hurt you. And I'm so sick of feeling so sorry for myself. I go from insanely happy to no, no, I don't want to be around anybody else. And I'm not sure if you know exactly how you feel about me. So come on, baby, why don't you whisper into my ear? How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? Drown out the voices, drown out the noise, drown out the bitterness. I got stored and drown out my wanting, take away my fears, everything I've been working for. I don't want to disappear, I don't want to disappear. pretend that I am connected and I can pretend that I can feel and I will pretend that I care I care about what you think because intensity had never really been a problem for me sorry if I scared you baby but can't you see what I'm really doing here I'm trying to learn how to be loved how to be loved how to be loved I'm trying to learn how to let myself be loved. Drown out the voices, drown out the noise. Yeah. I'm a mile and a half off of the tracks, Raleigh, North Carolina. Foot all jammed up, driving 14 hours. Nice. Take 
Taking all the plants, tie down anything that could fly. Sorry, I was just thinking about my friends down in Nashville. Um, same. Some bad storms happening lately, and this song is so uh, it's not really about a storm, but it's it's a metaphor for a storm, but it's also about storms, so. Taking all the plants, tie down anything that could fly. Tape up your windows by batteries, candles. Fill up your bathtub for dishes to wash. Make sure you have enough canned goods. And drinking water to last you a week or two. Until the storm out there has passed. That old Monopoly game, a deck of cards, a cribbage board, bring in all the dry seasoned wood for the stove. Get out blankets, towels, sweaters, warm socks, make sure you have enough cat food, a transistor radio. Let your family know you're ready. Deck in on your neighbors, call your friends, fill your tank with gasoline for a last resort exit plan then get yourself to the safety of an interior room put a pillow over your head don't forget to bring your cell phone unplug your whole life slow down your pulse get as small as you can and pray because this is the one they've been warning us about when everything goes out and darkness is declared We will finally understand, I doubt, I think, therefore I am When the singularness of lonely is as close as your own voice We will be reminded of the point, it's to love Yeah, the point here is to love to love the point here is to love <sighs> thanks everybody I'll play one you can sing along with. Just got a couple more for you here. I have no idea how much time has gone by because I'm unconscious pretty much when I play. <laughs> so I hope that's cool. Is that good, you guys? All right, right on. Um, yeah, let's do... Yeah, I, wanted, I definitely want to play Careful. I also want to play... I want to play I Don't Want You to Change. My friend Scarlett wrote this song with me. And I was just texting with her earlier today. Scarlett um, teaches at Berkeley College of Music in the songwriting department where I, I used to teach. I teach at Northeastern University now um, in the music industry department. So, um, but Scarlett and I were texting earlier and I know that her daughter is now playing guitar and singing. So it just keeps going. That's what we like. I think I'll play it with a pick. Sometimes I just strum it, but. This is called I Don't Want You to Change. I don't want you to be anything but who you are. Don't change the way you talk, how you move or lose the friend. Who got you this far? I don't need you to smile when you're really falling apart. Don't hide the truth about where you're from, who you are, or what side of your heart you're most comfortable living from. When you feel a hesitation Think you know who I want you to be Remember that I don't want you I don't want you I don't want you to change You know that I
the best that I can love you completely without a cause. Then to know you right here, right now. So when you feel a hesitation, I think you know who I want you to be. give you all of me back I mean once was hard enough to lose you and now you're asking me to say yes 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 Thank you, Scarlett. <laughs> Thanks for helping me with that beautiful song. Uh, right. I'm going to close it out, you guys. Cool? Right on. So just to double down on this, to triple quadruple down on it, first of all, I want to thank everybody for watching the stream. I bet it sounds and looks great because I've watched other shows on here and they sound and look great. So I wanna thank you for inviting me and thank you for letting me play songs because it's been hard to play during COVID. So um, it just feels really good. Um, I don't wanna like tear up or anything, but it's been really hard to not be able to play shows, right? So this is a really um, poignant moment for me. And um, the other thing is that I just want to also remind everybody that your money tonight goes to two really, really good places. One is the Charles River Museum, which I'm sure is a nonprofit organization because it's a museum. And then the other one is to help all of the people who own and work in restaurants here in the, in the town of Waltham. I'm not really sure if Waltham is a town or a city. City of Waltham. I think it's a city. I'm going to go with city. City? Yeah, right on. Because, well, Newburyport is the smallest city in, in uh, Massachusetts, so sometimes we like to talk about that if we live in Newburyport. So, yeah. Um, Dine Aid for the, uh, the city of Waltham and the Charles River Museum. So I will definitely come back here and play if you will have me come back when we can have people in this room. Because you guys out there, you don't even know how beautiful it is here. You have to come. I want to do a party in here, like a record release party, and then... We can do like a party. We, there's like other rooms up there. We could have food. We could have like a meet and greet or whatever. We should just throw a party. And um, so, yeah, the first drop of a hint on that is that 2023 is the 30th anniversary of my first album being released. So there will definitely be some parties and some music happening around that. So, and one of those places that we will do that at is here. I'm gonna play the song careful. This song came from the god and goddesses and daemons in the walls or whatever. I really didn't have much to do with it. 
I just kind of received it. Although I do know now from that, that, you know, stuff just doesn't come from out of nowhere. But you have to be ready to catch it when it does. So this is called Careful. None of this really makes sense So just come in and close the door Let's leave it all to something else To show us what it is we're in for Sitting all the way across this room I just gave myself to you And every love I've ever had I want to thank for getting me to you. Every love I've ever had, I need to thank for getting me to you. I'm going to be careful, careful, careful. We'll be careful, careful, careful. I'm going to be careful, careful. Be careful with you. Cause it's out of nowhere, it's got me hooked. I am overwhelmed and falling. Every time I start to listen to the fear, I close my eyes and picture you. So I'm gonna let myself sink right down in To the safety of your voice When we're laying in the half dark And you're holding my face Saying we are more than all right When we're laying in the half dark And you're holding my face Saying we are gonna be more than all right I'm gonna be careful Been planes up there circling. We have watched our friends collapse under their own gravity. Careful with me, please. Careful with me, please. Throw back your head, open up your hands. Come on, baby, laugh. Let's not let our future down. Wandering around out there in our past. You're so beautiful. You're so right here. It kind of hurts to look. So I'm going to turn the light on. Look into your eyes. And feel the weight of our love. Turn the light on, look into your eyes, and feel the weight of this love. I'm going to be careful, careful, careful. We'll be careful, careful, careful. So careful, careful, careful. I promise I will be careful with you. Thanks for coming, everybody.
thank you so much for having me here. It was awesome. And I um, hope everybody has a safe and wonderful uh, weekend. And take care of each other, all right? I'll see you soon. Thanks.